Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I would like to share with you a very short and spectacular game played by Walter Foldiak against F. Neji. The game was played in 1942 in Budapest. Foldiak had white pieces and he started with e4, c5 by Neji, Sicilian defense, knight f3, knight c6, d4 we see the open Sicilian, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, d6, bishop g5, a6, queen d2, white goes for Richter, Rouser variation and knight d7. Well, the main move is e6, then white king castle queen side, bishop d7, f4, but in the game we see this strange looking knight d7 move. Actually, as we can see a move later, black intended to play g6 and is not allowing bishop takes f6, doubling the pawns, that's why I played knight d7, bishop e2, g6, knight d5 and f6, a terrible move after which the game is over. Well, it was better first to kick away that dark square bishop and then, for example, knight c5, open up the bishop's diagonal, place the knight on a more active square, but instead we see f6, which is weakening the light squares, and now the knights are penetrating black's camp. Knight e6, queen a5, knight c7, check, king f7, knight d8, check, king g7, and knight e8, check, look at this. White knight simply dethroned black king and queen and now these white horses are simply ruling the country. In this position actually black resigned in view of if king g8 then bishop c4 check, if d5 then bishop takes d5 and then soon black king is getting checkmated. Of course, Black was playing terribly, but the way these knights found their places on e8 and d8 square is just fantastic. That's why I decided to share this game with you. Hope that you enjoyed this game. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave your comments. And also, for more games, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good luck!